I am Mr. P. C. Niyogi, teacher from Government Girls High Secondary School, Shillong. Today, I will teach class 8 students mathematics. Chapter 9 It is the topic is mark price, selling price, and discount. Exercise 9.3 So students, first of all, we have to understand what is mark price, selling price and discount. Let us take some examples. You see, these are the pictures. See, some scooties are there in one shop and you will see the price it is written there. That is known as mark price. Then you can see many examples in the market mark price the price which is printed when you go for uh, online shopping also either it is amazon or flipkart or any other so there also you will see the mark price then you can see uh, discount it is written and sometimes discount is displayed uh, to attract the customers say another example I am giving this is one school bag now when it is sold in the market okay the printed price that is to be paid but sometimes to attract the customer the shopkeeper he uh, writes in a piece of paper or in a banner and, uh, and he hangs that uh, discount 10% or even from the company also uh, the discount is declared so that means we can say discount means the reduction in price or cut in mark price now what is mark price in short it is written MP mark price is the price quoted on the article for sell then discount is always calculated on the mark price that means in the market when you buy a thing if there is discount the shopkeeper will calculate the discount how much from the mark price and after that he will subtract the discount from the mark price and that will be the selling price now straight away let us proceed to exercise 9.3 here in question number one you see solve the following the cost per kg of almonds increased from rupees 750 to rupees 810 now you have to find out the percentage of increase in the cost so the original value is 750 and new value is rupees 810 if you subtract then you will get the increase in value that is rupees 60 then you apply this formula therefore percentage increase is equal to increase in value divided by original value into 100 percent so now you put the value 60 divided by 750 multiply 100 percent after that you do this calculation at home then you will get the result it is 8% so hence the percentage increase is 8% another sum you see question number 1b the price of a bag it is decreased from rupees 625 to rupees 575 what is the decrease in percentage of its cost so you have to write original value first what is the original value of the bag so the original value of the bag is rupees 625 then the new value is rupees 575 if you subtract then you will get rupees 50 that is the decrease in value then you 
apply the formula percentage decrease equal to decrease in value divided by original value multiply 100 percent one thing you remember i tell you if it is percentage increase then you have to write increase in value if it is percentage decrease you have to write decrease in value in the formula then you put the value so after calculating you will get the answer that is 8 percent let us proceed to next question this is question number 1c increase the amount rupees 60 by 8 percent there is an amount rupees 60 you have to increase it by 8 percent okay how can you increase so if you remember this formula it will be easy for you increased value means after increasing of by eight percent direct you put the formula increased value equal to 100 plus how much percent is it is eight percent so 100 plus eight divided by 100 multiply that amount what is given in the question into rupees 60 so you get 100 plus 8 that is 108 divided by 100 multiply rupees 60 when you do this calculation you get the result rupees 64.8 that means rupees 64 and 80 pies this is the answer See, question number 1D, decrease the length 21 meter 48 centimeter by 5%. That means a length, length, you know, suppose uh, length of a uh, uh, tent or a cloth, okay, say this tent uh, cloth, the length is 21 meter 48 centimeter now someone is asking you you reduce the length by 5% okay so being a mathematics student or you have to apply the formula of mathematics so if you have the idea of mathematics easily you can apply this first of all this 21 meter 48 centimeter you convert it into centimeter you know 100 centimeter is 1 meter therefore 21 meter will be 2100 centimeter so 2100 centimeter plus 48 centimeter together total it is 2148 centimeter then again you apply the formula when it is increased value in the formula you remember plus sign will come when it is decreased value in the formula you remember it minus sign will come so decreased value equal to 100 minus how much percent is 5 divided by 100 multiply 2148 centimeter so 100 minus 5 95 95 by 100 into 2148 centimeter then you can cancel Okay, that way you can do. But here I have multiplied 2148 and 95. So I am getting 2 lakhs 4060 and divided by 100. So after that you will get decimal. So 2040.6 centimeter is your answer. In this way you can do the sum. Now, in another sum, you see, this is question number two. Find the selling price. See, as I told you, as I give you the examples of scooty or bag. Say, for example, one bag, you want to buy it. It's cool bag. The mark price, it is written 600. And to attract the customer, the shopkeeper, he has written on the bag 
the discount 10% so obviously the customer will be happy you will be happy or if you uh, buy the bag also next day you will tell your friends that you got discount so how you how much you will pay to the shopkeeper that amount you have to calculate and that is the selling price because shopkeeper cannot take mark price 600 he has to subtract the discount 10% so first of all you calculate discount discount equal to 10% of mark price 10% percent. percent means out of 100 so 10 upon 100 multiply rupees 600 that is the MP mark price then you cancel so you will get rupees 60 okay so you are getting the discount rupees 60 now it will be very easy for you to calculate the selling price so therefore selling price is equal to mark price minus discount 600 minus 60 equal to rupees 540 I think you have understood now whenever you go to a shop if there is a discount then easily you can calculate by yourself sometimes some shopkeepers are there they uh, they will uh, try to convince the customer come you will get the discount but some customers they do not know how to calculate the selling price and some shopkeepers they cheat the customer so but if you are uh, aware of uh, this formula mathematics mathematical ideas then you can calculate by yourself let us come to the next question in this question you see again find the selling price when mark price is rupees 1000 and discount is equal to 15 percent same process same way you have to apply the formula discount equal to 15 percent of mark price 15 upon 100 into mark price 1000 you calculate you will get rupees 150 discount then you calculate selling price so selling price equal to mark price minus discount so 1000 minus 150 is rupees 850 then i will proceed to question number three this is find the mark price when selling price is given discount is given this is little bit different from other sums here you don't know the mark price okay here you know only the selling price and the discount so again i am telling you see if you apply the formula the sum will be very easy for you so try to remember the formula in this case you see i have applied the formula mp equal to mp means mark price 100 divided by 100 minus discount percent multiply selling price so 100 divided by 100 minus discount percent discount is how much 5 multiply rupees 700 that is selling price so what do you get rupees 100 divided by 100 minus 5 that is 95 multiply 700 then you do the calculation multiply then you divide you will get the answer rupees 736.84 that means this 736 rupees and 84 pies it was your mark price after calculating means after discount the selling price it has become rupees 700 okay students come to the next question question number three number b same way i have done this one selling price is given rupees 200 discount is equal to two percent so here you see same way 
I have taken the value from the question the selling price then I put it the discount I put it and after calculation I am getting the result 204.08 why I am showing you the um, uh, sums in the same pattern but I am showing you so that it will be helpful for you you can understand you can do it easily next question Question number four, number A. Find the discount and the discount percent when mark price is rupees 200, selling price is rupees 180. This is another type of sum. Here you have to calculate the discount and the discount percent. So mark price is given rupees how much? 200 selling price is given rupees 180 okay let us start the sum solution first of all you have to calculate the discount discount equal to MP minus SP that means mark price minus selling price this formula you remember it so rupees 200 minus rupees 180 equal to rupees 20 this is the answer discount now when you calculate discount percent okay then this formula you have to apply the discount divided by mark price into 100 percent so discount is always calculated on the mark price the discount percent okay then you put the value discount is how much rupees 20 mp means mark price rupees 200 rupees rupees cancel then you do the calculation you will get the answer 10 percent come to the next question again find the discount and the discount percent when mark price is equal to rupees 800 selling price is equal to rupees 700 same way you can calculate the discount mp minus sp then you get rupees 100 therefore discount percent is equal to same formula you apply discount upon mp into 100 percent put the value rupees rupees cancel zero zero you can cancel after calculation you will get the answer 12.5 percent hence the discount percent is 12.5 percent this question you just think it yourself suppose you went to market and the mark price of a, of a school bag uh, it was rupees 800 you paid to the shopkeeper rupees 700 after discount but you don't know how much discount at home you just uh, got the value mark price and selling price suppose I am asking you that how much you got discount you don't know then you have to calculate the discount in this way okay students so you have understood I think you have understood you have to practice it at home so if you do not understand then again you do one thing you um, see the examples in the books all the examples you solve it at home you will understand better okay thank you